Good morning, good morning. Welcome to 4 by 8 Paper Stuff. This is Beth. We are in our Red Cross Journal, and the prompt today is sore, like I'm sore from lifting weights. And yesterday, I couldn't remember. It was tire rolls. That was the other one that I did on those clusters. I love that page. Anyhow, yep, today is sore. Um, and I copied today's thought concept idea from um, a lady that I took classes from in January I think it was November December or January up in the northern part of the state in Anderson and um, and I was going to use this pocket as part of my spread today but I'm going to save that till tomorrow um, and on Instagram she had I think it's Concy on Serenity Hill is her Instagram or something like that she had taken these little tiny circles of something that looks kind of like a jelly print or something with lots of paint on it and color and made these little circles and um, uh, put little messages behind them. And she's doing this for the 100 Day Project. And I thought, oh, I like those little circles. Uh, it's just a simple, simple, simple Simon concept. And uh, it just, to me, looked pretty. Now... In advance, I'm going to tell you, I was going to use that piece of paper as my background. Then I changed my mind and use another jelly print because I have a ton of them right now. Um, but I tore my shapes out. I was trying to tear my shapes out in different types of circles. That's going to be my background right there. Which is pink paper from, I think it was a Flow magazine or something. And uh, then I put lots of yellow and brown or yellow and gold but there's glitter on that which is not showing up in the camera but it's pretty um so anyhow um i'm using this for my background and then i will cut out those circles but oh, i started to say one of my letters looks like a b so i have a b and an o and an o so it, do not think this is boo it's not boo i had to try to put them in different um angle so it wouldn't look like a B and an O and an O. It's just circles. That's really what it is. Shapes. Amoebas. Um, anyhow. But I um, so this is not my and, and in the inside of the circle I wrote a tiny bit of stuff about what is sore from sightseeing in India. My feet were sore from walking. I had the wrong shoes on. My shoulders are sore from carrying shopping bags. And something else um, I put on there just as a joke. Uh, I'm still contemplating using that envelope, but I decided not to. And I'm checking to see what tomorrow's prompt is to see. I'm like, oh, I don't know if I can make something up with that envelope, but I'm going to try. But I will tell you, uh, I bought... Um, James Burke's travel journal class. Now, I know I'm not going to buy anything um, because of everything that's going on, but I decided to go ahead and do it anyhow. Um, and it, I really don't need to have it. See, there's my B. Doesn't that look like a B and an O and an O almost? I didn't need to buy it, and I had been waiting for him to finish that class. He said he was going to do it for a while now, and it's been a year since he was in Japan. But I went ahead and bought it. And it's a treat to myself for being confined to the house. <laughs> Plus we finished my mom and dad's, um, uh, I cleaned out, uh, almost finished cleaning out the money that they left us. And I was like, okay, I'm going to treat myself. Um, not that I'm using my money for that. We used it for beach houses. But um, anyhow, um, some of it, or that's where a portion of the beach house money came from. Anyhow, um, that's neither here nor there. So I decided to go ahead and get this class. Uh, it's a tad bit expensive for what it is, but it is full of information and it is very, very professionally well done. I'm very... What happened to my video? I don't know what happened to my video. It's very well done and very professional. Um, it looks nice. Um... It's very clean and easy to navigate around in the class, secure, um, on a secure platform. It's just really, I'm very impressed on how he did it. Um, it's still his style. It's still his 
personality coming through, which I, I'm glad. Uh, but he does put a lot of stuff into his travel journal, just like he does into anything else he does. And I like that. Obviously, I'm all about the stuff. But um, so far, I just watched the first couple videos last night um, before I went to bed. Don't watch his videos before you go to bed because your mind is racing. Oh, I can do that. Oh, I can do that. Anyhow. Um, I really, really like it. And I'm thinking, I still have ephemera from lots of other trips from the Danube, from Israel, from Greece, from uh, Ireland. I'm thinking I might get the rest of my paraphernalia out and make a travel journal with the leftovers and use it up. Because I have, there's lots of neat ideas in his on how he used the brochures and things that he collects, the ephemera that you collect from a trip. So, um I think I might do that. That might be happening in May. I don't know. Anyhow. Um, so I'm putting this lined paper behind the letter so that I can write what happened and why I'm sore here and there. Oh, my abs were sore from something. I don't know. Probably eating. I'm eating myself out of house and home from this virus. Ugh. We, we need to get out and about. <laughs> we need to move. Um, it's crazy. And I made the mistake of buying Easter candy just to have a little bag of it. And I've eaten the whole stupid thing. Bella hasn't been here to help me eat it. The kids next door haven't been here to help me eat it. And I almost took it to my sister's house and left it at her house yesterday. And I'm like, eh. It never made it. And I'm still eating it while I do crossword puzzles and things like that on the computer. Um, That has been my other weaknesses doing crossword puzzles, not crossword puzzles, jigsaw puzzles on the computer. Anyhow, this is me. This is colorful. This is a cool effect with jelly prints or any kind of colorful paper. And um, it's just all the different things on me that are sore and why in this trip in India. Feet are sore from walking. It was cold this morning too. You can see I have a little sweatshirt on. Um, those are some of the sweatshirts that I made for my quilting retreat. I made three of them. Um, one I got epoxy on down at the beach and I had to throw it away. That doesn't watch out, wash out, especially if you get a whole bunch of it. Um, but I have two left. Well, actually, I have another one that I'm going to make um, out of indigo fabric on a navy blue sweatshirt. I just put cuffs and a band on the waist. Um, and that's cape facet fabric on that gray one. Anyhow, side side detail there. Uh, so yes, I'm sore from walking too much. My shoulders are sore from carrying too many shopping bags and my abs hurt from probably eating too much. Um, so this is my prompt for today and my journal for today. And I really, really like how this looks and it's colorful, but a different way of putting down the color than I have been doing. And I like those little things, those amoebas or whatever they are. Um, yeah. So Happy Easter. That's coming up tomorrow for you. Happy Easter. It's a totally different Easter for the whole world. Um, so thanks for watching. Stay safe. Stay kind. Stay safe. And I will see you all tomorrow. Bye.